throughout the world in the past few years, we've seen mass movements, uh, especially in the context of abortion rights. Uh, we've seen, you know, anywhere from Ireland, Poland and loads in Latin America as well. And we've seen a recent victory in Argentina, but now also in Mexico. So, uh, uh, Meta, it would be really, really good if you could tell us a little bit about uh, what exactly happened in Mexico and how that connects to those movements as, as well. So what happened last September 7th in Mexico was that the Supreme Court of Justice of the nation made a historical declaration about abortion. Uh, the criminalization of abortion in the penal code of the state of Coahuila was declared as unconstitutional. And another really important aspect and something that wasn't like really mentioned here in Mexico was that not only women have abortions, also trans men and non-binary people. And this declaration talks about it and it's really important because now uh, LGBTI plus activists can also get more involved in this fight. So uh, yeah, so it's really great for Mexico. And well, this doesn't mean that abortion is now legal because the media was handling like that. Uh, it does set a really important precedent for the states that haven't legalized completely abortion to start reforming their constitutions. And this is because in Mexico, as well as the United States, and I'm sure that several other countries, each state has its own constitution. So this is why the path towards uh, legalization of abortion in Mexico has been really slow and really difficult for women and uh, everyone who can get an abortion. But this uh, declaration makes it easier or a little bit easier for these states to start making reforms to guarantee the right to get an abortion. And well, um, this is thanks to the men's demonstrations Mex uh, Mexican feminists have organized all around the country in the last years. Uh, the biggest demonstration ever held in Mexico City, well, feminist <laughs> demonstration was in 2020. So not even the pandemic could stop us. Uh, well, abortion also now has an important place in the political agenda and many more states such as Oaxaca, Hidalgo and Veracruz are following the uh, the steps of Me Mexico City, where abortion is available for anyone who wants to terminate their pregnancy. Well, it's nice to hear, you know, kind of going in the other direction of some successes of the movement. Now, you started to go into a little bit about in 2020, some of the protests that helped um, get us to the point that we are today. But can you take us back a little bit further even to talk about, you know, these mass movements over the past few years in Mexico that have helped um, put forward this legislation? When we talk about uh, abortion here in Mexico and Latin America, we have to talk about the Maria Verde or the green tie. And, and that's why you see all of us Mexican feminists wearing green handkerchiefs. Well, uh, the Green Tide is a movement that was born here in Latin America, in Argentina more specifically, and it's so big and so important that it expanded all the way through Mexico. And it's also present in Brazil, in Peru, in, in Venezuela, in Chile. So it's really, really important. And since 2018, really, it's when this really big feminist demonstration started to get more attention from the media and the government. Uh, of course, feminists have always had this stigma of being uh, bad to Mexican image, of being too noisy, of being too, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's really weird, it, of being uh, destructive, you know? So, even though we have all of this stigma, these demonstrations have continued. And in 2020, the 8th of March, because um, we, the demonstrations happened really important dates for us Mexican feminists, but also international feminists. So the 8th of March of 2020 was one of the biggest feminist demonstrations here in Mexico City, but also all over the country. And it was one of the biggest demonstrations to ever happen in Mexico City. So it's really big. And in response to all of these demonstrations that have been happening even over the pandemic, because as I said it earlier, uh, it didn't stop us. It, even in 2021, we have some really big demonstrations as the one that happened in September. Uh, some ultra-right uh, groups and conservative demonstrations have happened, but they have been really small in comparison to our demonstrations. So this, this talks about how the Mexican society is 
taking abortion, I think. But the thing is that these ultra-right and conservative um, um, groups also have a political support, uh, such as the PAN and distinct uh, party PES. But even the right wing of the supposedly left-wing uh, party, Morena, uh, is uh, supporting these groups. 